Okay, sorry for that. So at this uh, side of the stick, deflection of 100%, but the up and down is limited to 75%. With this 75% going up, it will be giving you the horn and um, the long horn, while the 75% down will be giving you the short horn. Likewise, uh, this was uh, previously being used for the adjustment of uh, the um, gear but now I'll be using this deflection for functions of the uh, trailer trailer function okay so and the rev function as well so I have utilized switch switch H which is a momentary function to activate functions which I would be using whenever I flip the switch A now switch A will give me a 100% uh, setting if I switch it up so we see I have uh, used a dummy channel channel 6 for this so the up is 100% and down is negative 100% so if I, I put this on 100%, I uh, would be assuming that I would be having a positive 100% on this side. So again, it's now in the up position. I click this, uh, flick this uh, switch F once. And you see a momentary uh, transfer to 100%. Again, I'll do it. So 100%. Okay. I Put it back to the middle and it's back to um, 75 so the original manual of the mfc01 uh, you just need 100 percent in order to activate the function so if we do by doing that uh, to start the the uh, truck you have to in the in the uh, previous controller you have to move this uh, to the right and this function up so again this is this uh, switch has a similar function by giving full extent of the um, of the up and down function so again you'll just see I put it up it will have um, sorry okay I put it up so channel 7 is 100% and when I flick it channel 2 will have 100 momentarily and when I put this channel 7 on negative 100, it will be true for the opposite side. So it's just like trimming this uh, side of the um, controller to have instead of 75 to 100%. Okay, so that is a momentary function for this. Okay, now uh, let's proceed to the programming side. So there, basically, I uh, just uh, have um, the king holder and name it Tamiya with the image. Okay. So here, in the switch positions, I will have set the alarm that these switches are in the middle. So that whenever I uh, turn my transmitter off, the functions of these um, switches would be corresponding to my desired um, functions the pots and sliders are off and I uh, here I'm using a helicopter transmitter uh, spare I, I mean a receiver a spare from my previous helicopter I just have to pass this because I know you'll be having a different transmitter okay so next page now this is not a helicopter setup skip that skip that okay so I have designated um, for mode to uh, mode to transmit such as this I have uh, designated an AETR so channel 1 is the aileron channel 2 is the elevator throttle rudder and a special function for 5 which will be utilized for transferring gears so as you can see here I have a forward throttle and a 100% reverse throttle okay which follows this uh, curve forward 
and reverse okay so let's just fin uh, proceed to that first before going to the others so these are the only curves I will be using the forward and the reverse the forward is from the middle up to the highest point so meaning when I move this stick up it will go forward and it, if I move it down it will stop just like an accelerator a car accelerator okay and um, to see that okay let's check this out okay first uh, have throttle to make cut. It throttle, throttle active. active okay my throttle is now active you see it's moving 100% when uh, I see this switch is in the back position and stop and now when I flick the switch for the reverse one it will go back to the 100 position so it's just like pressing the accelerator in your car okay and you hear the backing sound once again okay back to forward I'm in a down position and again it moves forward okay let's go back to the setup was I okay so again those are the two throttle curves and the other one is this one okay to show you what's inside so I just have two positions the first position which is a zero and two one hundred and for the other one the reverse is from zero to negative one hundred Okay, and back to our functions. Okay, so here is where it gets tricky. Um, I'm afraid I was uh, on a discovery side, that's why this is not yet sequential. But um, for the mixes, have to set aileron because that is uh, uh, our function for uh, switching the steering wheel to 100% and give it 100 now it really depends to you if you're going to add some exponentials on this uh, it's going to be your choice but uh, if you're going to add exponentials it, it would be better oops if you would be putting it in the input okay but as of now i just want to have a full deflection okay now for the second mix, I would have a 75% on the elevator. Uh, the elevator for the helicopter side is on this part of the stick, on the right stick. Okay, I'll just have it for 75%. So you can see, 75% up and 75% down. Now later, I would be programming um, logical switches 2, 3, 9, 10, and 1 which I will show you later okay and here I have set my throttle which is the accelerator to 100% okay 100% deflection but because I have a curve which I set on the uh, previous page um, it will just give me from 0 to 100 and if in the reverse from 0 to negative 100 okay for the rudder this side rudder for the helicopter is being this is uh, the one being utilized so I just only need this function because this is the only function that uh, requires uh, some movement um, in the original MFC manual for me to start okay and have these values to max and uh, replace it replace not add or anything else okay so again for channel 4 I have this logical switches 4 5 7 8 11 which I'll be discussing later channel 5 which I'll be using to um, uh, switch the gears medium rate okay. low rate and uh, channel 6 a semi dummy channel which will be used for switch A and channel 7 for switch D okay, next
Um, I have really nothing much from here except that I have reversed and no, not reversed. Everything is all going the same way except for channel six. Anyhow, anyway. Okay, the curves are done. My global variables. And this will be important when on, uh, I'll be discussing the functions of switch B and uh, switch C. Okay, as for now, I'll be tackling D and A first. I'll have a separate video for that. Okay, so here are the logical switches. Uh, I would like that switch H would only be functional if A or the throttle is equal to zero. So when this side, uh, this uh, stick is in the bottom position, I would be able to utilize switch H. So in, or in order for me to do that, uh, uh, logical switch number two, it says here, logical switch number one and D is in the up position or this one. And logical switch 2 would be functioning. Okay, so when I flip switch H, okay, you see that logical switch 2 is active, which has a delay of one second. Okay, here. And so goes for logical switch 3 on the down position, logical switch 4 for the up position for switch A, and logical switch number five for switch a at the down position okay uh, logical switch number six is that a is greater than 100 not negative 100 okay so as you can see is um, okay that is active because switch a is greater than 100 okay and Again, switch B later uh, in a separate video for switch B and switch C. Okay, so now um, I'll be talking about the um, shifting of gears. So as I have mentioned earlier, I have utilized switch E to uh, transfer my gear medium from rate, low, rate, low gear, medium, medium rate, and high and rate, high gear. Okay, so this is where we are going to do this. As you have noticed, I have utilized logical switch number 16. And logical switch number 6 states that, okay, let's go back to that. Whenever the throttle is at 100%, so an accelerator is at 100%, I would like to have a delay of at least 0.5 of a second for the uh, gear to transfer to any of this one so just like in a car you have to uh, I mean in a truck you have to depress the accelerator before you transfer your gear so this is to made to simulate the delay okay so when this is up and you're moving forward uh, the throttle is more than negative 100 you, that means that I will have a delay of 0.5 seconds when I activate C, uh, logical switch number 2, a delay of 0.5 seconds, High and rate. Eight, logical switch 18, a delay of 0.5 seconds. Okay, I'll just Medium go back rate. to low rate. the lowest one. Okay, these are just counters logical switch number 19 and 20 are counters which i will be tackling in the next video so that's just much about it um, the setup of the truck transmitter will be uh, discussed in another video because i'm running out of time in here and i'll be consumed uh, roughly 50 and uh, 20 minutes of your time already and uh, stand by for the next video thank you